got full cupcakes. Full cupcakes with a straw. That haunted house there is better than any universal horror house. Oh my goodness, $120 for a full glass of that one. Five minutes later at the Gaylord Palms Hotel Resort. Welcome to a new Florida video. This is our view from the balcony of the Celebration Suites. Our massive balcony. Yeah, very nice balcony. So uh, if we wanted to, we could play a little bit of giant chess. Not so great when I'm walking around in the room with my pants on and there's somebody playing chess below me. Don't walk around with your pants on then. So um, nice and quiet around the pool and it's a Saturday morning. I guess everybody's going to the Disney parks, which we are not. Not on an Easter weekend, we're not. So we're just heading to reception because we've got something that we need to ask them. But just to show you, the Celebration Suites on an Easter weekend, on a Saturday, is very quiet. Breakfast? Yeah, you can get breakfast here if you like. No. Not meant to wait until. You said no food today, although we have got lots of food. Um, the thing is, I've had a couple of Seneca and I've cleared well out now. So, um, so you can get breakfast here and coffee right next to the reception. I'm just going to nip in. So the reason we wanted to go in there was just to check. Um, they sell um, Disney tickets in there, just for the family. So they said they might want to go in for one day, depending on the price, but it's $165. So they don't want to go in, including tax, for one day. And it's about the same on the gate, so um, yeah, gate I doubt prices. they'll want to pay that. And to be fair, I wouldn't pay that for a day either. There are a lot of ticket booths around Florida. They always say for Disney tickets from $39. Maybe we should go and investigate how true that is. Well, maybe, but I can't I imagine know what, it I already true. know what they're going to do. You basically have to go and watch timeshare videos because we once did it with SeaWorld, didn't we? Yes. And, and we then, did get a free day or something out of it, didn't we? Or something. Yes, we got another... We paid for one day and we got it from Walmart and then we, they, we had to go to a certain desk which was their version of the Disney Vacation Club and they gave us a free ticket but then they were like just come watch this video and we're like not interested right but so they did give us the ticket we're out quite early so what we thought we would do this morning is as it seems quite busy is go and take a look around Old Town Kissimmee and just have a look at the shops there and show you guys uh, what's there if you've never been or you've not been for a while maybe have some breakfast just so you can see what is here new restaurant coming soon there I can't really Jill Gilantrilo? Oh, Lantrilo's in it. No, that's not an O on the end. El Cilantro. Gilantrilo. Something like that. Rose. Something like so that. So there's a new one. So over here, as you first come in, what's that one near the um, big wheel? It's quite nice actually Gilantrilo. this morning because um, usually there's music blasting out so I can't film. It's um, Shoney's Kitchen Bar. It's a chain restaurant. Now. Let's go and have a look. Nice little Instagram spot here in front of the uh, car and the hashtag MyOldTownUSA if you want to have a look at uh, some things on uh, Instagram. Right, so Sean is Kitchen and Bar and they have a happy hour. Buy one, get one free draft beer from 2 till 6 p.m. It's quite a nice place, indoors and outdoors. Tattoo Studio there and piercing if you fancy a tattoo oh this is one of those fish spas which used to be quite popular in the uk but you never see them anymore i once had it done in the lake district where spa. fish nibble your feet the fish spa where they nibble your feet no i meant the trap that was the price it's the house number um sugars gallery oh my goodness look at them look at these nick <laughs> got full cupcakes full cupcakes with a straw through it well maybe later Fruit with caramel and chocolate on sticks, if you want something healthy. Top the apple, basically, yeah. on a chocolate apple. Oh, delicious cake pops. Masha would love those. Macaroons. Wine, beer and barbecue next. Twisted Vine. Obviously, it's quite early on a Saturday morning. Oh, you get free samples in there as well. What's that? Pulled pork, brisket, chicken, barbecue. 
Help Wanted if you fancy it's a job. All about the food, isn't it? Um, it doesn't open until 2 pm, so a lot of things are actually um, closed at the moment. It's great for looking round yeah. without all the hustle and bustle of having to push past people. Yeah. Fat Tuesdays, I don't think we've ever been in a Fat Tuesdays, have we? No. That's obviously a chain that's quite, quite all over the place. What's this? Where did we see that now, where it was like. We were in a mall somewhere and everybody was saying try Fat Tuesdays. Yeah, a lot of people said try Fat Tuesdays. Were we in Paris? I don't know. Extreme Ninja. Here. Yeah, I thought there was something in Ninja. <laughs> uh, be your own hero, courage, strength and power. So it looks like you can uh, have a look. No, so it's like a fun house for adults. Yeah, maybe. With a bar. Yeah. Always Good. plenty to do here, different kind of things where adults can play and be a kid again. Nathan's famous hot dogs, fries, burgers, chicken, cheese steaks, fish and chips. Gotta say, they look bloody lovely in the window. Sushi Express there. And, oh, this is Sushi Express as well. Those rice bowls look nice. Oh my God. Fried rice bowl. That looks delicious. That looks delicious. That's some of my favorite kind of food, isn't it? Like, I mean, well, it's not sushi really, that is. It's like a no. Chinese Ooh. food, that. Katsu chicken as well. Sushi boats as well, that it? So you can get a boat full of sushi. Now, that looks nice sushi, like um, fried and crispy. Ooh, yeah, I'd imagine it's the size of this pan for us. They look nice. So this that we've just been in is, a, is really the opening area. The main street is behind us and goes down for about half a mile on one side and then half a mile on the other. Just gonna have a quick look down. Like I said, not a lot of things open, but we're gonna have a look. Comfort with footwear, and it's buy one pair, get two pairs free. German yeah. footwear. Yeah. If you fancy some new shoes. Oh, it's on selected shoes, obviously. Scully's rock and roll experience. Looks like something from um, New Orleans. Oh yeah, the gift shop. No. Is it? Yeah, I think so. A shop full of fridge magnets. Some people like that kind of thing. The British shop, which we have been in before. Again, it's not open at the moment, but if you fancy some British stuff. It's literally everything you see in a gift shop in London. The Old Town has its own radio station, 89.5 FM. I don't know how far away you'd be able to drive before you receive. You can't receive it. Uh, so there's lots of um, gift stores, as you can see. There's a Disney gift store there if you just want to come around and have a mooch for some gifts. <laughs> Bullshit. Well, maybe we should come up when it's open. We'll, yeah, come we'll and ask them how you get it for thirty-nine dollars. That's our hotel just there, just to show you how close it is to Old Town. We're just on the other side, actually. Actually, that is very cheap. Two dollars. Uh, sorry, two for six dollars or three dollars for a twenty-ounce large domestic draft. Oh my god! buggies around here. That is a very large gift shop. We've been in that many times. It's really large. I like that shirt. Hawaiian shirt. It's a little bit like the one I got yesterday from Aeropostale, but I do quite like that. It's some mean wax hands. Um, I saw this the other night. You yeah. can have one in glitter, can't you? Like a glitter hand. So you can get your hand doing glitter if you How want. How strange. This is where we got Sweet Dreams Cafe is where we got the ice cream from the other night. It was very expensive. I yeah. would give that a miss. And then obviously here we have um, the horror house, uh, the haunted house, which is very good. I've been eating it years ago with my sister and Nick, and Nick went in it last year with Hannah and uh, Daniel Watson, so check that vlog out if you want to see him there. We might try and get Batty Brenda on it this time. Definitely. Horror gift shop thing. You know this, the mannequin I had a picture taken with the other night? Oh, yeah, it's it's in inside there. there, look, yeah. So this is like a gift shop that's associated with the haunted yeah. house. Post-mortem horror boutique. I, say that, I don't say this lightly, but that haunted house there is better than any universal horror house. When we come though, you can't show that to Batty Brenda. Because the warnings here, I remember from last time. Yeah. <laughs> you should not enter if you suffer from asthma, heart conditions, physical ailments, seizures, yeah, respiratory conditions, la 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 la. To be fair, they say that in Universal as well. Which is quite expensive, but it is good. It's $18 plus tax for uh, adults. It's just, that's very pricey, but it is worth it. And it says not recommended for children under 12. Uh, a couple of um, posters here. Muscle Car Show and Cruise every Friday at 3 p.m. Uh, live music every Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And then obviously on a Saturday, which is tonight, they have the main car show. So this street will be absolutely filled with uh, old cars coming down. There'll be so many people here. So if you love DeLoreans and Night Riders, this is the place to come. This is the Hangman Challenge, which Nick was very interested in last time. You get a free test as well. 
So oh. it's ten dollars if you hang two minutes on a bar, which they have out not at the moment. Um, you win two hundred dollars cash. If you hang for a hundred seconds, you win fifty dollars cash. A minute and a half dangling. Yeah. Nick thinks it sounds easy. Today's best one minute thirty-five, ninety-five seconds. What do you think, guys? Does that sound easy? No mixed grips, no pull-ups, chin-ups, or muscle-ups. Must hang from bare hands, no hook grips. One prize per person, must be at least 16. Must have ID to claim prize. So, also, now, if people have won then. The, yeah, well, they paid 23,300 pound out in total since it's been here. Hmm. When we get back to Brenda and my mum and dad here, maybe we'll have a go. You can just see her hanging from her back, can't you? Yeah. So here's another shop that advertises Disney tickets for $39. I'm gonna go, go in and ask. Right, so we just went into that shop and kind of sounds too good to be true, which it probably is, but it, um, was, it was what we thought. If you go on a 90 minute tour of a Westgate resort, it's called Westgate, yeah. which is supposedly one of the nicest Time resorts share, in um, Orlando. They've got a, a, a water park on the roof and stuff like that. You go for a 90 minute tour, you get breakfast for up to six people or dinner, and then afterwards you get to buy cheap tickets. And uh, they're not doing Disney at the moment, right? apparently only people selling Disney tickets after COVID is Disney themselves. Which we know is not true because the hotel's just quartered us. Well, that's true. Maybe they're just meaning these time timeshare things. Maybe. Um, but they did say that they are doing Aquatica and SeaWorld combination for $25 each. So if you go on this 90 minute tour, you get free breakfast and you get Aquatica and SeaWorld for $50. It did say it's a no pressure sales tour. But yeah. we've been on them before in, in, in other countries. You get, you go, you watch a presentation, you have a meal, they try the best to sign you, you say you're not interested, you get your tickets and it's wasted 90 minutes, worst case scenario if they don't give you it. Yeah, well, 90 minutes, free breakfast and then we could all go into SeaWorld and Aquatica yeah. for $50. So. Or $80 per person for Universal. Yeah, so you never know. We'll have a word with or the, uh, the parents. Say. Magic Illusion House here. I presume it's a little bit like Wonderworks. It says, experience many rooms of wonder in one house. That might be all right to go into. I think when we've walked past it before, we've seen a guy stood outside doing card tricks, haven't we, as well? Yeah, maybe. Doesn't say any pricing, or maybe it does around here. 30 minute live performance, $10 adults. $10? Maybe not bad, bad thing to try. Maybe. So far, our favourite place in Old Town Kissimmee where we ate the other night. Thanks to Barry who uh, mentioned this and told us to come here. Beautiful food and such cheap drinking. Four dollars it was for a glass of wine. They also have a happy hour as well. And when the wine is not four dollars, it's six. Yep. So it's still mega cheap. Yep. So at the very end of Old Town is the um, is fun, fun Spot America. There's actually two in Orlando, isn't there? A couple, yep. there's one at the top of I Drive as well. So this one actually wraps around the bottom of Old Town and goes all the way behind the street here. And as you can see, it ends on the main road up at the 192 where the big swing is. Look at these wells, just whilst I'm here. Got all these Disney uh, ornaments. Yeah, you can't really see that well because of the shadow and the, uh, the dirt on the window. And just here, where these guys are, is the barbers. Just there. So we've never tried that, we've only done the celebration one, but this is a little bit closer. We have actually cut each other's hair this, this trip, so Twice. We're, we're fine. We're experts at it now. Yeah. yeah. So right at the end of Old Town, they have a schedule that's going off every day of the month with different things. Uh, live music, live music, live music, karaoke, if you fancy a bit of karaoke. Um, obviously oh, that's what we heard the other night when we, uh, oh, when we yeah. first came yeah. here and we had, like, glasses were shattering, weren't they? Yeah, we'll do some karaoke while we're here. We'll get back to Brenda up first. Um, obviously this will be out of date by the time you watch this video, but to have a look at your time, myoldtownusa.com, uh, you can see what's You'll going on. you get the latest schedule on there. When you're coming. So I don't want to get harassed for going in and wanting to buy something, but there's a, there's a popcorn shop um, called Kissing Me Popcorn Company, and inside they literally have like dozens and dozens of flavoured popcorn. Oh, there's a rainbow one there. And remember we were just talking to the guy about the cheap tickets, he actually said the car show starts today from 1pm. I think what he means is they all come they and sort up. of like start parking all around, so from 1pm you can come and have a look at them and then on an evening they all drive down the street. 8 p.m. they literally go round the loop of the street and then back again. It's very, very loud though, so if you are, if you have got tinnitus, put some earplugs in it's because nice. they all like to rev their engines. It's nice that it's a place you can come without actually having to buy a ticket. You can just come in here, you don't have to pay anything. Yeah. It's sometimes hard to park on a weekend because it does get very busy. Not um, for us, not when we're staying next door. But you can just come and then just choose what you want to do without actually spending any money. 
Right, we're going to walk back to the front of Old Town now and then go and pick the car up, which is still in the hotel car park. And then um, we haven't really decided what we're going to do yet. We think... Well, we've got a couple of vouchers. Yeah. Which Nick kindly got for his birthday from our friends Sandra's and, Sandra and Steve. Sandra's. <laughs> I'm going to say Sandra's and Steve's. <laughs> Um, so we think we might go and uh, check out us. We'll show you what they are when we get in the car. And as we're walking past, Nick's just going to show you a fun spot. So there we go. You can see there, there's like go-karting on a track. And that's been there for absolutely yeah. years and years and years. I'm not sure what the prices are, but based on the one down at the end of the street, I think you pay per ride. But um, I don't know whether you can buy like seasonal passes or just get like a day pass or anything. Have Just, a check at the website. Yeah, look at the website, Fun Stop America. So that caught my attention. We just walked past and it said two dollars for a beer. What was Auntie Anne's price? Uh, two, two for six. For six. So this is the beef jerky experience. So Auntie Anne claims to be the cheapest um, beer in Old Town. I think beef jerky is just better. Right, so we're back in the car and I've got the Groupon um, vouchers which Nick got for his birthday. So they are, the first one is, never heard of it, so we don't know what it's going to be like. Albin. Polasek Museum and Sculpture Gardens. Um, so we're going to go in there. Usual admission price is $20. And then the second voucher is an, at Apple Spice Junction, which is a, a voucher for two or more for a dining uh, meal. So it looks like it's like sandwiches, subs, stuff like that. So it looks a bit like Panera Bread from yeah. um, looking on the, uh, the website. So we'll go and use these and see what they like keep watching the vlogs, the Florida vlogs. Um, we're gonna take uh, my parents in there, the World Food Trucks um, place. Apparently there's like a hundred different food trucks we've never been in. Different cuisines. Yeah. So um, we'll be showing that on a vlog at some point. Hello I4, old friend. <laughs> Lots of traffic as usual, at least we're moving. It's always in this section, yeah. like the Disney World section, it's always the same, day or night. Even if it's two in the morning, you still get traffic here. Just, just to see if it's actually just to see legit. If it's, to see if it's, there's anything in it. I mean, obviously we're not going to buy timeshare, but the guy was like completely honest. He said, "Look, he said it's no pressure. He says just go. He says I just go just to get a free weekend in Key West, didn't he?" Yeah. And as you know, we said before, the folks haven't got any Disney tickets. They don't want Disney tickets, um, apart from well, maybe one day. But it's just ridiculous. But fifty dollars for an Aquatica and a Sea World ticket does sound pretty good we can get them on a few rides see a few animals so i've texted and see what they think um and like i said if it's a con at least we'll have done it and you guys will know never to do it if it's not then he sounded quite strange potential, potential hack if you've got an hour and a half and a free lunch yeah, to go he was saying it's not a hard sell although i imagine it probably is and it's like it potentially saves you hundreds of pounds especially with six people so we'll see well it wasn't a hard sell when we did our dvc tour did it we literally went oh, in, looked around, we gave us the brochure. And we got free stuff, free bags. We got bag, loads of free stuff. Free yeah. cookies, stuff like that. Free voucher as well. Although we almost ended up signing up for DVC, but we decided against it. It was, in the end. well, maybe we were just a great salesman <laughs> because we very, very, we very, very nearly did it. it. It was the fees that, yeah, put that, we, that we figured that the annual fees was equivalent to like a two week holiday, yeah. all, all paid for. So we kind of said, no, we're not going to do that. We don't want to lock ourselves in for 20 odd years either. No. Left of the fork to continue on I4 Express. So sneaky. Google's Continue just, for six miles. She goes again. Google's trying to get us on to the I4 Express. And again, why would you go on the Express when this road's empty? Why pay to go in that lane yeah. when it's free to go in this lane? Well, apparently, I think it was our friend, uh, was it our friend Peter? Was, I think it was our friend Peter and Stacey who were telling us that these I4 Express lanes have been a massive failure and hardly anybody is using them. Spent a fortune on them and there's no need for it. No. They should have put it a bit further down the road when it's actually yeah. is busy. Yeah. Because people might have used it. Right, there's downtown Orlando. 
though. We do keep saying it's something we've never done and maybe we shouldn't do it, but a lot of people tell us to keep away from downtown Orlando. And I have just Googled it and a new survey that has been done last month says that most people don't feel safe in downtown Orlando and you should definitely not go at night. Although, after, all, it? after all the road trips we've done through America and we've been down New Orleans at night and stuff like that, I'm sure we could hack a bit of time in Orlando. Maybe. Right, so this museum is near Winter Park, which we've been to before. As you can see, downtown Winter Park is just here, and the museum is there. There's lots of lakes. We did a, um, a boat tour. tour on maybe one oh, of those lakes. Lots of museum, it's just on that sign. So uh, it's down here, so we'll see what it's like when we get there, and then uh, head out for some lunch at the sandwich place. All right, here we go. Not very busy. Museum oh, wait, hours, wait. it's open, thank God. Because we did kind of forget to look that it was open, but it is. It's not like us. It's very Spanish, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm sure you'll agree that's what I look like when I've got no clothes on. Yeah, unfortunately, even when you were younger, you never looked like that. So it seems like the artist was a fan of um, sculpturing um, muscular men, which is nothing to be uh, ashamed of, because uh, you know, quite like looking at him. Looks a bit weird from this angle. It's like he's holding something. Right, so I'm guessing this is the guy, Albin Palasek. And here's the museum. He was a Czech Republican guy that uh, yeah. came to America and lived here, presumably. Let's go and find out. Nice little fountain. Quite ingenious, that, isn't it? Oh, like yeah, it's the water. Yeah. This definitely looks like you've gone into Spanish mountains yeah. and you've gone to, like, to a winery in Spanish mountains. Oh, we've got any wine in here. Yeah, let's go inside and see what it's all about. So it's been placed on the National Register of Historic Places. All right, let's hope they take our group on. Right, so we're in the um, museum, but we just can't it's not come and look at this view out into the gardens. The TripAdvisor reviews did say that the lake view was spectacular. So is that the lake where we went on the boat? I'm not sure. There's oh. quite a lot of lakes around here, so I can't be. We'll see when we get out. Oh, wait a minute. Now, now we need to come to think of it. When we were on the uh, the tour, I'm sure they came up here and said that there was a museum. And now we're in it. We need to watch about that video. I'm sure that's what they said. Oh, so you can actually buy some stuff here as well. Two grand for that. Two thousand dollars. Seven hundred by candle of wonder. In fact, you can buy everything. It's a bit expensive for some of your bathroom. Two and a half thousand dollars. Well, it's like the Holy Grail from um, Indiana, Indiana Jones. Jones. Quite like that. It reminds me of New York. What is that? Please do not touch. Well, I'm not going to do, but what is it? I don't know. $17,000 if you fancy away, this. Keep away. <laughs> is it like a mirror or something? No, it's like an etched. Um, yeah. $9,000 like for that. And look at this. It's like a it's like a snake head or something, is it? Oh, it's like a sabre tooth tire that's been painted gold. Yeah. Not for sale, that one. So, Alban Polsek was a um, Czechoslovakian stroke American sculpture um, guy. He obviously emigrated to America. He created over 400 sculptures, 200 of which are actually in this building. And this gold effect is called gilding, where they get like gold powder or something and then and put it all on wood and things like that. So, it's Postals. actually gold, and this is why it's so expensive. Postals. Is it actually gold? Though? Yeah or gold powder. It tells you a little bit here about how they do it, look. Oh, it's like gold leaf. It's like yeah. gold leaf, yeah. Oh my God, look at that. They put it on some hairs. And that's what you can see all here, like here, there's a uh, 23 karat gold leaf carved wood thing. Not for sale. What's that? $1,800. Box. Is this is it, box. Hmm. Is that the end? That's a bit weird. Let's get my out, innit? <laughs> These ones here are white gold leaf. White gold leaf? White gold leaf, so it's almost like silver. Right, we'll come out into the garden. So all these are in memory of people. That one is in memory of John and Ass, just sorry, John and Anne 
Palasek, so obviously a family member. And then there's all these around here. All in remembrance of people. Now we're going to go and check out the sculpture gardens. world of coffee. Oh yeah, it does actually. Like Without a, the coffee. A little oasis uh, in, in like... Yeah, it's a nice place to come to get away from all the yeah. bustle, bustle, and bustle. bustle and bustle of theme parks. doesn't tell us sort of like what the significance is of these um, particular statues. If you, were like, if you were an artist though, you'd understand it all. Well, I, I kind of am into my art. Like, you know, Madonna music and stuff like that. That's not art, that's trash. These are impressive gardens. That's, the, I think the uh, the view is amazing. You know, it's a bit weird. Right. There's a sign saying, please walk on the grass. Yeah, I've seen that. It's like, you read it twice because you think, why, does it, why, they yeah. why are they telling you to walk on the grass? Well, let's do as it says. Sure you're very right. And walk on the grass. Look at that view out of the lake. Ooh, speed bike thing, whatever they're called. Nick has always fancied doing one of those. Seen that speed hover bike thing, whatever it's called? Jet ski. Jet ski, that's it. What did you call it? Speed bike hover thing. What a That's the kind of tour we did. Was it last year? Can't even remember. Uh, January 20. Yeah, but if you look out, if you search for Lodge Guys um, Winter Park. That is the exact same tour that we yeah. took. Same boat, I think. And it shows you all around these beautiful houses, like multi-million pound houses all the way around the lake. Yeah, there's little canals that, front, that one lake leads to another lake. Is it me or does that look like it's squatting for a pee? Yeah. Ooh, a little jetty. Be careful going near the water. Jet skis coming back in. And a plane coming down to land up there by the looks of it. Yeah, if I'm right, it's a canal there where the boats go down to the yeah. next lake. Yeah, I think it is. Could that plane coming down to land? I'm sure one of these houses here is one of the houses that was previously on the other side of the lake and then they split it and just tailed it across the lake on a barge. Can you remember? Yep. And I'm sure it's that one there. What a beautiful view. Let me Google it. So if you fancy this uh, boat tour of Winter Park, just go to downtown uh, Winter Park and find the boat place. But as I said, check out our previous video. And then you get to go on this boat of the lake. It goes down there, like into a really narrow um, tunnel. And you go come out on another place. Or if you fancy something better, you can always rent one of these. You've always fancied doing that, haven't you? What? A jet ski. Yeah, not with alligators though. I knew I recognised it. I've just Googled it. It's called Capen House. It's the house that once existed on the other side of the lake. And there's actually a YouTube video of when they actually split the house in two when it was somewhere over there. And then they sailed it across here on barges and then dragged it up over the lawn and then reassembled the house there. And it's actually in the grounds of this um, museum. So you can actually hire this house for weddings, corporate events, things like that. There's lots of pictures on Google of, um, sort of people's weddings on this lawn here. So do you just walk over and carry on? It is part of the grounds. Well, let's have a much through window. Firstly, we're not sure whether this is part of the tour, but we're just gonna we're gonna go in anyway. Are you sure? Try that other door then. Maybe it's not part of the tour. Right, forget it. Right, I'm just letting Lee lead. Try another door. Well, you think it's now the front one I know is open because I've seen people walking yeah, in it. There's all the sculptures around. Oh, it's part of the um, museum, Albin Pol uh, Polsky there. Is that one open? No. Eh? That's locked up. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. So there's a sign inside that says staff only. There is a guided tour actually, which we might take. Did she say half 12? Uh, yes. We've kind of done the gardens now. 
So we'll do the guided tour and we'll hopefully get a little bit more history about it. I'm sure they'll tell us about the house being split. Of them finally went and told the priest, I am sorry, Father, but if I can't give you something to be proud of, I would rather give you nothing. The wheat on the crash is from the Palashik family fields and it's still doing a great job. They asked Alvin to go to a seminar. Alvin, final version is bronze. She sent her son to war. So she is an American mom, she is a fascist mom, she is a Nazi mom, she is a French mom, an Italian mom, she is a Filipino mom. I'm tired of inconveniencing people, so he decides he is going to build a chapel. He calls his priest at St. Margaret Mary and he says, Father, I need your help. And the priest says, what can I help you with, Alan? And he says, if I build a chapel, will the church consecrate it? That was quite interesting, yes, actually. It was actually. So the cabinet where they were the, the the nativity scene. Apparently, they were carved from wood, but the way that he made the dyes and things like that was to actually use milk and tree parts. And apparently, every time they open the casket, it smells like sick, even after all these years. It smells disgusting, she said. And yeah. he, he carved that when I think he was either 14 or 15 years old. Yeah. Just and he had, and she said he had no access to books or anything like no. that. He just did it kind of from how we imagined it would be, from like reading the Bible and things yeah. like that. And there were other things in there, like a busk that he um, he basically created for someone that was on the Titanic. And the guy was supposed to pick it up after he got back off his four-week trip on the Titanic. Mm -hmm. And it ended up staying here because obviously the guy didn't pick it up. He, he, he drowned. What else was there? And she did confirm that the house as well is the Capon house, which yes. was split into and moved across the lake, and it is used for weddings. You can only go in it at between, for 15 minutes on a Saturday morning between 10 a.m. and 10.15. And you can't go upstairs because there's no two ways to get it, so the fire department have said nobody can actually go upstairs yeah. at all. So, quite interesting, that. I'm going to be honest, I thought we'd finished, and I was like, right, let's go for lunch. Nick said, let's go on the guided tour, and I was a bit like, oh, okay. But I'm, I'm so glad, we, glad did. we did, because I learned so much about him. If you didn't go on the tour, you'd walk around and you'd think, oh, yeah. it was very nice. They don't really tell you much. Be off. The tour is a must. And uh, this All guy the pieces that is we just saw. amazing. I, I don't know how like one person could sculpture so many things. And, and not paint. just sculpture, paint. Dance, sing. D he, he learned so many instruments. Um, he um, like recovered furniture, he Repulsed carved it. furniture. And it just makes you think, doesn't it? Like, you know, I create videos, he created all these things, it's just... Yeah. What do you create? Um, enjoyment. Yeah. For you. <laughs> uh, so I want to go and, sh and find one of these, um, I think it's around here actually. Oh, you never you've not mentioned it? No, I want to go and find the carving and tell you what it actually means now that I know. Right, so here's the um, statue that was outside and didn't know, have a clue what it was until we went on the tour. I think she said he did 54 different versions of this and it's called... What's the book? Yeah. It's called Man Carving His Own Destiny. So basically, if you're a good person, you do good things, then you, you, you get carved out of the rock. But if you're a bad person and do sort of bad things, you get stuck in the rock and don't ever get out of it. Is that yours? Mm. I got it. So there you go. Man carving his own destiny. He actually lived here, and um, she said he came and lived here before any of the other houses were on the lake. So it was just nice and peaceful. 1950. Yeah, he moved in in 1950, and unfortunately, not long after, he had a massive stroke, which left the left half of his body um, unable to be used. And but then it, had to, it took him seven years to do his next piece of work that he just did with one side of his yeah. body. Let's go for sandwiches. Right, unfortunately, we've just checked, and the place uh, we had the voucher for for food strangely closes on a weekend. Most things <laughs> up here close on a weekend, to be honest. So it's, a lot it's, of the eateries. Yeah, it's close today, unfortunately, but South it means we'll have to come back right another time. Uh, what we might do is bring the parents back up so they can see Winter Park. So we're going to head into uh, downtown Winter Take Park now. Right onto As you Avenue, can hear Google saying, right to stay on uh, we're only four minutes away and then we'll just have a mosey on around there and see where we can get some lunch. Nice little houses turn right here. Onto Chase Avenue, then turn well, they're on the lake, these, aren't they? Avenue. Well, yeah, I bet they're a fortune well, almost. then, aren't they? That's a small little thing, like a little granny flat. That's like a an big one. So we are literally, it's probably walking distance from here. If you were to park in Winter Park, downtown, yeah, just come down it's to the probably museum. walking distance to get to the museum. Well, it's a three minute drive, so yeah. This is a nice street. Take the next left onto East New England Avenue. Very nice houses. Practicing the golf yards, swing there. Turn right onto South Interlaken Avenue. Oh, that's nice. How do you live? Mm. 
very nice. So it's a little bit like Winter Gardens, Winter Park, like a smaller version. Um, as you can see, very nice houses. For anybody that doesn't know, the word winter from all these town names comes from people that have um, expensive homes that live up north yeah. and they came down here for the winter. So a lot of the towns were named after, um, after that. So Winter Park, Winter Garden, Winter Haven, etc. Very nice houses and they call those people snowbirds who come down for the winter. We call them snobs. Nice uh, condos or apartments, whatever they are. Turn left onto East Morse Boulevard. I think this is where we took the boat ride down yeah. here. And we turned left up here and Somewhere, park here. Yeah. Is that down to the boat ride there? Yes, scenic boat tour. Yeah, so if you I want one of those so. boat tours, it's down there. We parked on the end and just walked down. We didn't book it, we just um, went and got it's it on the day. Parking is a bloody nightmare in Winter Park. We've just driven around for about 15 minutes and gone up and down half a dozen streets anyway. We managed to go down to a street that's cut off from the main road and we found a parking space at the back of somebody else. So we're going to walk into the main downtown. We have been here before. Um, we're going to try and find somewhere to eat because we're both absolutely starving now. And I don't mind telling you, I'm bleeding starving. What? Albin Polasek, however you say it. Emily was his second wife. Yeah, so one of his sculptures here in Central Park. A couple of teats aren't working. So on a Saturday there is a farmer's market. It does close at half past one, is it? One o'clock. One o'clock, but it's 20 past now, so. They are packing up, but we're just gonna go and have a look. See if there's any food stalls or anything like that. A few stalls still here, but uh, quite a lot of them are uh, heading off now. Ooh, simple savory, what's all that? Ooh, that's Lots of different um, sauces and things. Schmores. Like dips, white chocolate yeah. raspberry. We are here every Saturday, but if you see something you like, I still got the inventory right there. So. Okay. That's a nice car. I wonder how much that costs. That's that woman is having photos down next to it. <laughs> Rolls Royce. Right, such a shame that. I was hoping we would manage to get sort of like another 10 minutes of um, like deli products because we've done them before at Celebration and some of their, um, was it like pesto that I got last time? It had so much cheese in it. Yeah, because tonight we're thinking we might have a little chilled night in the um, That's Celebration not, Suite. That'll not happen. You watch. We'll see. With like some uh, dips and chips and salad and right. chicken. Well, for now, let's cross this road. Right, we're just mooching across the, uh, the front. Reminds me of when we went to that little town in California. Can you remember when we went, we went and stopped at that um, that place in that square when we were on the wine tour? And I said at the time it reminds oh, me of Winter yeah, Garden. Yeah, we're a nice little place. So there is a Turkish place that I've just seen back there, which I do like the look of because they've got like loads of pitters and hummus and things like that. The search for food went on hold when we saw something going off here, so we're just checking it out. I'm gonna put Lee forward to getting in the middle. Go on, Lee. Get in middle. Do your shit. I bet I could do that. Yeah, right. There's a sign that says happy hour. Oh, and it's the, well, they need to get the bloody sign in then, don't they? My shit, five pound. Yeah, that's on the happy hour. Yeah, so at normal times, it's probably going to be six. I do like the look of it. Do they do food? Yeah, people eat. Right then. Right, we think we do like this place because we've seen it's got a vending machine for wine. I love this place. It's also got a big massive vault for the wines. They do a big selection of foods as well as a cheese flight and a wine flight. Let's find a table. Right, come on then. Right, this place is called the Wine Room on Park Avenue and um, Nick was just talking about these. You can get cheese flights. Well, I think it's. I don't think you get any wine with these. You just get no, three yeah. lots of cheese for twenty-five, and then yeah. you can add extras on like sauces, yeah. garlic bread. Oh, I bet that's nice. A bit of garlic bread and some cheese, charcuterie boards as well. Cheese and charcuterie mix and match, so you can choose like two of the following for twenty or three for twenty-six. I'm des I des definitely think I might like want to try something like that. Yeah, yeah. cheese. I quite fancy this seasonal avocado hummus, or maybe the tandoori chicken lollipops. Right, I'm like a kid in a sweet shop. This place is amazing. So we've ordered a cheese flight because they've got a, they've got a cheese menu and they've got like normal small plates. If you if you want to order wine by the glass, you can do, or you can get one of these cards. So all the vending machines have different like size shots, and it depends whether you want a full glass or a sampler or something like that. So I've got a twenty dollar card, so I'm just going to go around and try different wines. Right, so we've come to the Pinot Noir vending Where is it? machine. Where's the Pinot Noir? There. Where? 
Oh, all these. All these. Right, okay, so you put your card in the machine, it's got a little chip on it. And I want to try um, this one, it's, it's a sample. So you push that. <laughs> oh my god! A wine vending machine. There we go. And then you take, take your card. card out. So that's two dollars consumed. Right. Mm. Ooh. Oh, we need to read the labels. So Nick went for the Pinot Noirs, that's our favourite at the moment, but there's all sorts of stuff like white wines, um, interesting wines this one's called. I don't know what's interesting about them. It tells you a little bit about them there at the top as well. And then it gives you the prices, so $2.50 if you want a small one, $5.50 if you want a little bit larger, and $10 if you want a full glass. This is called the Rare Room. Let's have a look how much these are. Oh yes. $15 for a sample and $60 for a full glass of that one. Oh my goodness, $120 for a full glass of that one. I think Nick will be staying away from this one. And if you want your wine as well to take home, they've got a uh, good selection. So there's a vending machine back there that has a glass of wine for $120 if you'd like to try that one. Well, it's not going to fill it because it's not linked to my card. I've only got 15 quid left on it. Uh, this is my drink today. I'm on the water and being good. Have they got no non alcoholic wines? I've not asked, I just want water. I can't believe Lee's just got to eat that any cheese with fruit in. That's the thing. Like, where do you think you are? Figgy Morrison's. Oh, yeah. There goes Nick on his next sample. He's seen what he wants. Here's our first plate of food the seasonal avocado, hummus, sun dried tomatoes, crudites. I don't know what the crudites are. Uh, and grilled naan breads. Right, I found one, a blueberry and Pinot Noir sweet wine. Wait a minute, what's this? Chocolate, Chocolate shop. Mm. Yeah, so I'll pop my card in. I want that one. Hurry up, because the food's here. Oh, it looks sweet. Mm, yes. Take my card. Oh, it smells very sweet. Let's get to the table and I'll try it. How's that one? I don't think it's very alcoholic. It's very, very blueberry tasting, like really sweet. Our cheese flight has arrived. Mm. We forgot to order olives and jam, so she's gone to get it. Ooh, that's good. Is it strong? We just chose the um, the flight and let them choose the cheese. Oh my goodness, that's that really looks a nice. Bit, looks a bit dry it, without the um And there's the no butter. butter. <laughs> that's for some margarine. I'm just going to got another meal. I've used about six six dollars on my card. Um, I absolutely love this place. It's the novelty of it more than anything. Try that. Let me try it. Oh, it's sweet. Mm. It's almost like... It's almost like a parmesan without the parmesan taste, mm. if that makes sense. Right, so the jam and the olives turned up. So this is a pecan jam. That's a blueberry. A uh, blueberry pecan jam, yeah. yeah. We're loading it up like it's a yes. jam sandwich. Let me try this. Go on, wolf it down. Very sweet, very, very sweet. The cheese is beautiful. Yeah, you've noshed about three pieces so far and touched it yet. Yeah. Food was beautiful. I mean, you can't go wrong with cheese and stuff like that, but it was very nice. Everything was nice. Nick the still wine particularly nice. He is a kipper, he's got his four. Oh, you've got one, one more to get after this. Three dollars fifty left on this. You don't get you much. Um, and I, I nip downstairs. I'm going to hopefully go downstairs with the camera in a minute um, as soon as we set the bill because they've got some machines down there, including machines that have got like 19 crimes, which you can get in Tesco. I'm not going to try that, but there is another, there's another bank of machines. They actually got a bank vault downstairs as well, and there are oh, people sat inside it drinking expensive wines. We're just going to peek his head in and just film it. Right, let's go and have a look downstairs. More machines downstairs and the vault. Red carpet, that's I like how the uh, walls are um, wine holders and wine they're slots. They're all empty. Yeah. More wine machines here, but look at that. It's like the Da Vinci Code where they, you go into the archives. And what's in there though? What is it? Um, I presume it's where you... Locker members. Yeah, I presume if you order wine, they put your locker in your, put your wine in your locker. And then through That's here. Bloody hell. <laughs> A vault. It's actually a proper bolt as well. Yeah, you've got your expensive wines in the down there. Have they got vending machines? Oh yeah. no, not for those. I'm afraid they're uh, like locking in type. However, I've got $3.50 left, so let's choose one. Two dollars. Interesting three. whites and reds there. Uh, oh, layer cake. Richly layered wines. Mmm. That might be one Merlot. Of There's a Pinot Noir there. 
Is there? 375, not great enough. How much have you got left? 350. Uh, I want to get every penny off it. You can actually, it actually costs you $3 for the card, but you can keep the card and bring it back next time, which I will definitely want to come back. These are a little bit too sweet. That's an interesting one, it's like Popeye. How much? Too $3? much for you, I'm afraid. No, three dollars. Oh yeah, oh, you've got three fifty left. I've got three fifty. Yeah. Right, let's go for get your money's worth. Um, we'll go for this one here. Look at this. What's this? Six grapes. Oh, it's like a pot. Oh no, it's it. too rich. Oh yeah, sweet wines. So this is interesting. Right, I'm not going to have this one. Which one are you going for? The Pinot Noir. So, hold on. So I should have three fifty on my card. So it allows me to dispense just these. So I'm going to have that one. This is your kind of day, isn't it? This is perfect, I could live here. My card is now empty. I'm gonna put that in my wallet. Rather than buying um, another card each time I come, I'll just keep refilling this one. Right, so we're just making our way back to the car. As you can see, um, it's just like lots of luxury shops. It's Park Avenue. Uh, Sounds very posh. Yeah. Coffee, um, bars, lots of wine places, charcuterie boards, I've seen lots of them as we've been coming. Uh, Jewelry, accessories, clothes stores, and I've seen somebody walking around just with just all some... luxury things, non-essentials, not like supermarkets where you get milk yeah. and bread. It's all like luxury things. You know what I mean? I've seen somebody walking around with ice cream. I presume this is where they got it from. Did we not get an ice cream last time we came in? Kilwins. Oh my goodness gracious me! It smells nice in here. It smells. Amazing. Just came in for a little look. You never know. We might purchase something. Peak and pralines. Look at the size of those. I think they're even bigger than ones in Disney. They're cheaper than Disney, though. Oh my god. Peanut butter fudge. Oh my god. I'm not a big fan of fudge, but that does look nice. Sea salt you know, chocolate you know, caramel. Turtle rod. Mm -hmm. It's a pretzel stick with pecan and toffee on it. Pecan turtle crispy. That's like, like a, what you had in South Salt, didn't you? Right? No, that's a uh, rice crispy. Is it? Yeah. Ooh. You know, yesterday well, we were going to have well, lots of food today. That's tomorrow. <laughs> well, we've not had lots. Pink, I really want that cherry. <laughs> if I were getting one of those, I'd get a little bit full from the cheese, chocolate. but I'd get fudge brownie. Fudge safe brownie. bet. I'm amazed by Lee's restraint. I know. We got right onto the counter, picked everything, chose everything, and then he said, I don't want one. So we walked out. I said, I am actually a little bit full from his cheese still, so we'll wait. You weren't full enough. Later. It wasn't full enough to stop you from going in there. It did look nice though, that It ice cream. smelled amazing. Bottled it and cracked. We're calling it Cold Stones. Every day is best. Well, I don't think I want one. Fine, just watch me. I'm not gonna watch you eat an ice cream and me sat and not have one. Why? Because I want. It's a stupid thing to say. No, it's you don't not. want one. Because then when I've, when you've finished it, I'll then want one. I'm having one anyway. Might have um, toffee apple crumble or rainbow cake flavor with vanilla. Just a small one. So just a small. whenever you come to um, to Cold Stones. Always ask for a small tub because they can't actually mix the ice cream in anything <laughs> too small. So you always get a medium tub, even for the price of a small. And as it's me. Oh, what is it? Oh, we're here. The most here. chocolatey thing I can find. Chocolate fudge brownie with peanut butter. Chocolate chips oh. and all sorts of stuff. Peanut butter cup perfection, perhaps. Chocolate fudge brownie. Oh, Why don't you get peach and coconut brownie caramel? Because I don't want that. I might go for this peanut butter, peanut butter pretzel blast by Reese's. That's sixty percent you're gonna have before we that, I know, walk into like that one. That's actually got the Reese pieces in it. Look. Yeah, I prefer that. I quite fancy this one, the campfire one. Full oh brownie in mine. Why don't you share that with me? Don't share it with me. No, I don't want it. Share it with me. Oh my god. Share that with me. Oh my goodness. Can you tell us what? Yeah, that's a small one. Oh my god. Can't get over that. I just wanted kind of like one scoop. <laughs> that is small. However, she charges nineteen dollars for that. Now nineteen dollars because we got yeah because we got all, because the, extra we got all the extras at like a dollar or two fifty each. I can't believe like that. there was like a full brownie in mine. What oh, I got? can. I got coconut, um, peanut, white chocolate, and caramel. Diet starts tomorrow. Um, good. Um, I'm glad. It was beautiful. Mine was nice actually. Um, I'm surprised that she didn't put it in the medium cup. They usually do. But um, $19, $19, 30 cents for that. I think it's like you said, we went for special 
Did we, do we usually go for just like one? Well, I had three added extras. I had the white chocolate, the peanuts, and the caramel sauce. You asked for those added. I just had, I just had plain ice cream, yeah. coconut ice cream, and then them three added. So. And I just went for, I think mine was called chocolate delight or something. I didn't expect it to go yeah, yeah, it had 19 things in it. She went to get a full brownie and put the full brownie in and then Brownie, it up. peanut butter, Reese pieces, um, chocolate chips. I've had enough calories there for uh, the next uh, couple of days. Right, we're off back to the hotel now. We have talked about going, having a sort of chill around the pool, maybe getting some root beer and heading around the pool. But um, we'll, we'll decide when we get there. Is. So one thing we do whenever we come to Florida is we play one of our Lodge Guys playlists and we've actually got a Lodge Guys Florida driving playlist and it's got all our favourite Disney songs on it. I keep adding new ones in, but uh, this is what we're listening to at the minute. If you guys wanted to, you could search for that title on Spotify and it should come up as well for you guys to be able to follow it. Right, we're back in the hotel. We've been here for a while. I've been doing some editing and some backing up of um, the vlogs and things like that. Um, we are going to go and get a lift or an Uber or something. And finally, after years of wanting to go, actually go over to Gaylord Palms Hotel Resort. Um, now, some people may be thinking, well, what do you want to just go to a hotel for? Um, well, apparently it's amazing. Apparently it's like a whole resort of its own and it has some amazing sort of like um, grounds and lobby areas and attractions and all sorts of stuff um, so I've always fancied going to go and see it now the parking apparently is something ridiculous even if you're just going to um, visit so it's about $35 plus tax if I'm wrong about this please let me know in the comments below but that's what um, people have been telling me and I googled it and it does seem to be correct you can go and park but it's $35 so Nick's just getting ready. As we are staying um, at the Celebration Suites, we're only about five minutes away or so uh, by car. So we thought we'd just go and get a, uh, a lift and go and have a look. It's free to get in apparently. And you can just go and have a look around and uh, everything. Um, so we're gonna go there. Oh, I thought it was a TV. I doubt I'll be wanting anything else to eat today. Oh, good bother, good bother. <laughs> um, so um, getting a lift, yeah? What do you mean? Yeah, I'm drinking. Lifts, you, lifts uh, cheaper than uh, Uber at the minute. Come on. Then. You've still got a five pound voucher to use as well. For lift. Oh. Let's go. Just walking out of the prison block. <laughs> prison cell block H. Yeah. Prison cell block. Um, what? Are we in D? Uh, yeah, prison, prison cell, cell block, block D. D. It is a nice place though, I really like Nothing it. Nothing wrong with it. Clean no. as anything. Refurbished rooms. The maids meet today and other beds and stuff like that. Yeah. You can't, you can't knock it at all. It's, no. And the location is amazing. Just waiting for our lift. I don't know how much this is, but it's interesting. I just saw this. So they've got a daily um, uh, shuttle express round trip transportation to Bush Gardens if you uh, want to go. But it doesn't sort of like. Ticket purchase required. Well, yeah, obviously. But it doesn't tell me anything about where you can get it, uh, like prices and stuff. But you can get that old town if you like. Right, the price on Lyft is $1.50 cheaper if we wait 15 minutes. So if I get it through Uber, it's seven minutes. Uh, what do you want to do? Get the $1.50 extra. Make a U-turn to stay on West Earl Bronson Memorial Highway. That was some funky music in that uh, Uber. And here we are, just five minutes later at the Gaylord Palms Hotel Resort. Years we've talked about this. I know. Years. Years right, we've talked about here. Sport. Let's hope it's as good as everybody says. Say so far, I'm impressed. It's got a full park in it. Great. <laughs> it's got actually growing trees inside, like a biosphere. The aircon is amazing. Not the smell. No, it's got a... a musky smell. I don't know what, yeah, kind of musky smell. Easter bunny meat and greet through Easter, throughout the day. Wow, it's like it's got his own arboretum. We need a map. We need a map. I was going to say, there's a map there. Full map. Grand Avenue. Look at this. I can't believe this. This is like a biosphere. It's like a thing. Look at these rooms. Where the balconies oh, look out onto this. They're inside rooms as well. Oh, yeah. Right, let's have a look at the map. These bars are perfect. It's like, obviously, indoor. But if it rains... Or it kind of feels like it's outdoor, but if it rains, it doesn't matter because you're indoor. Or if you've got a hurricane, you 
can still be outdoors. Oh, yeah. So when uh, Nick's just getting a map on the phone that you can download, I'll show you this map here. So um, we are here and there's all this for us to explore. Like, We're not bothered about all this. No, that's the convention centre upstairs with the ballroom and things like that. So, can you zoom in? Coffee oh shop my God, there. Zoom in, look at this. Coffee shop. Um, Elevators. So have a look. So it is just this area here then, isn't yeah. it, really? It looks like they've got a, um, a pirate ship lake. that way. Right, right let's so just let's... go around and have a look. We'll go so, this way. Are we in this bit here? We're there. So there's an outer ring then to get to this, or you can get through the well, park. Well, let's just walk around the park That's first. Funny. And again, I like this place. You might have a drink here, maybe later. It's just the perfect place to come. I don't know what price they're like. We'll have a look for like meals and stuff like that. Oh yeah. So it looks like they have some kind of event or something in here. Lots of tables. Like yeah, like a wedding or something. Can you go up here? Yeah. Let's go. Well, not this as we can. It's like a Vegas hotel. It is, but bigger. It's just bigger like than a Vegas hotel. It's far bigger than a Vegas hotel. Look at all the different places to eat, and then it looks like there's like market places and stuff down there. I love it. Waited so long to come and see this place. I'm waiting just as long for the damn map to download. Oh, it's done. Apparently it's fantastic to come and visit at Christmas time because they have two million pounds worth of ice sculptures uh, and things dotted around. Um, so maybe if we come back at Christmas, we'll come and have another look. I'm just looking on the app of things to do. Just bear me one second. Fortunately, the Wi-Fi is absolutely garbage, so I know it works. And I'll stick it off Wi-Fi again. I just love the Mind. rooms in here. And look up there. Somebody's got a big inflatable um, bunny. Bunny rabbit is just there. The thing is, you can be guaranteed that there's going to be no wind. Yeah. Brilliant. On a hurricane, you think you're going to be locked up in your hotel, but this just continues on the roof, doesn't it? Yeah. Market Square. Now, nah, remind me of a Vegas hotel. So, so if you used, bar, bar look at it. If you're yeah. used to Vegas hotels, that's the kind of feeling you get here. Emerald Bay Cafe and Market. Let's have a look down here. Resort pools. Just come outside to have a quick look at the pool while we're passing. It's got its own water park. Like Tag from Lagoon. Ooh, <laughs> look at that all oh, wow, that hot tub there. With all those people standing in. Oh yeah. Should have brought us should have brought us um swimsuit. Yeah. Well you look like you're in yours. Well never mind. Kids clubhouse there. Sports bar. Sports bar and a rather Back large way. Easter egg. Right, where's these alligators? You keep saying the alligators. The, this way, Gator Springs. Real tulips planted all around the place. Are they orchids? Um, orchids, maybe, yeah. I don't know. Not, I'm not a uh, botanist. Well, it smells a bit, oh yeah. It smells of. Um, is this where the alligators are? It smells like um, an aquarium. There you go. Alligator. Where? Oh yeah. On the rock. So the, I've just seen the time for the feeding today. It's 6 30, so we've missed it. Yeah, yeah, but you can come and watch alligators being fed. You're probably seeing better from the bridge. Yeah. But it does smell a bit tongy. A bit tongy. Yeah. Brick battery change. Oh, it does stink when you're walking out. So we're gonna go round left here and look on the bridge. Oh my god, daffodils. daffodils? They're they're perfect. It's almost like they're plastic, but they're not. Everyone's real. Oh, there the we go. The gardeners must come out here and pull all the dead leaves off. Feeding show, Tuesday and Saturday at 6.30pm. Well, that's not far off. I'll, what, time, what time is it now? 7 o'clock, we missed it. Not for frick's sakes. There they are. They're obviously still hungry because they're hovering. But most of them are quite young. This one here is coming for a sniff. Big massive one over there. couple on the rocks. Oh, that's a turtle on the rock over there, actually. Yeah, they're turtles. And then because they're not getting any natural heat, um, they've got these heat lights that keep them warm when they're yeah. kind of nesting and when they're young. This is the waterfall that feeds the pool where the alligators are kept. I must say, it wasn't what I expected this. 
Do you, not, do you think? Uh, kind of is what I expected, because I heard it, it was good, but it's better than I expected, actually. Right, so we're kind of just heading around in a big loop. When we first came in, we went up there. This time we're going round to this section, which should bring us back to where we started. Oh my god, there's something there that says Key West, looks yeah, like a bar. That's where that pirate ship is. Uh, I thought it was a boating lake, that you could actually go on a sail. You can only imagine the prices there. Perhaps Narcusi's prices, if not more. Oh. Right, I've tried to get prices for this place. It doesn't actually show you what the prices are for dinner, but breakfast is $33. Plus tax, uh, under, under kids basically 12 and under, $16. Right, so there's a menu here for a different place called MAW. Which stands for Mindfulness of Our Resources. Mm. So starters, $20, um, soup, $11, entrees, 32 to 52, yeah. sides around 10, and desserts around 10 to 12. Key lamp pie, not, not super for a while. expensive, but it's pretty it's, expensive. Yeah. Gaylord Palms, Key West Lagoon. I've got um, fishes and stuff. Look at the boat. Fishes down there. And then there's the boat, which is actually a restaurant. I wonder if you can sit downstairs where the portals are. I doubt or whether it. that's just like yeah. lighting the show. I do like this place. What else is in here? You can even get rooms overlooking this area as well, look you? Red drum. What can you see? Yeah. I love these rooms. I wonder if there's any rooms with an outside view or if they're all in. No, there's, there's rooms on the outside as well, but I wouldn't want to be. I'd like an inside room. Yeah. So the restaurant with the uh, ship is actually the Moor restaurant. Is this another pool? I want to go to Moor. You want to go to Moor? sit there. Oh, he's got outdoor seating. Oh, look how beautiful that looks. Look at that big shell and all. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh, what's this? A big football field. Well, a big grass area. There's a sports bar over there. Wreckers. I think we should go there and have a drink. The um, gym down there by the looks of it. Let's go on, let's go to Wreckers. Come on then. The strange thing is, I've just said to Lee, we've just come outside but it still feels like we're inside. Inside and outside feel the same. Apart from the, uh, uh, the heat. Yeah, the heat. Now this is my kind of area. It's a shame we can't have drinks here, isn't it? They've got a big roasting, a big roaring fire, which is actually turned off, but it's massive. And then you've got loads of these kind of like sun deck chairs. Not just that one, there's two more. Oh yeah, down. there's two more on that side. And probably one further round as well. And the good thing is, neither of us are drinking, so I can get a Bud Light. Neither of us are drinking, I'm, I'm sorry, drink. neither I'm of drinking. us are driving, so I can get a Bud Light. So we are gonna go and have a drink in the uh, Wreckers Bar. This is called Coquina Lawn, actually. So and then there's something at the other side called the Key West um, Atrium, atrium. So which we will go back into. The beers at Old Town are $2 for a bottle yeah, at a zero one end. let's see how much they are here so ignore the flashing you can eat here if you want these are the prices so between 13 and 18 for starters salads handhelds high burgers and tacos and fish and chips cajun pasta that does sound nice actually and uh, new york style new york style new york strip steak 26 but they are actually quite reasonable compared to the yeah. prices around there Right, so uh, here's the menu from Wrecker Sports Bar. We've got sat down inside. We're just going to get some chips and dips and some beer. Um, so, beverages, just so you can see, they're not too bad. Like Corona Light and all your lights, uh, $7.50, $8. Um, so, we're just going to get one of those each and some. Chips and dips. Chips and dips, which is just there on the side, nine dollars. Of course, we're not very hungry tonight after that humongous cold stone. Yeah, give it about three hours. And we've been in here and we've got back to Old Town. We'll be back in somewhere else. I'm just to eat from Saki Bar again. That is my new favourite drink. Is that the one that we had on draft in Disney the other day? Uh, yeah, you did. Yeah. It's absolutely gorgeous, especially on a hot sunny day, and it's relatively cheap. And it's half the calories of Blue Moon. Down to five calories. I still prefer Blue Moon now. Christ, look at that bowl. Just a little snack. That is bigger than Lee's head and that's massive. Is that, that looks like that um, South roll gel that we got in um, Tampa, doesn't it? Mm. Is it spicy? Salsa. It's spicy but not hot, like lots of spices in it. That just looks like cinema cheese. It is. Oh, it looks very watery. It's a bit watery. Right, let's tuck in. Mm. So this area here looks like the convention centre. Looks like they're having a, a private do up there as well. There's lots of people up there. And then the walkway from the convention centre back into the hotel. 
and uh, the uh, pool area again. I think that's another pool area. I think we're at the back of the building, because if you remember on the map, it showed you the convention centre at the back. Yeah. And that's between the pool, the building and the hotel. I think we're right at the back of the building and we're going to have to walk all the way around. Right, we've made our way back inside and we're just trying to find our way <laughs> back to the back to the foyer. Went to clue where we are. Yeah, we've kind of got ourselves um, into the room areas. We're just kind of walking down this massive long corridor. Looks like a cruise ship corridor. Just saw in that room, it looked quite nice, but it was just like a motel with two queen beds. Right, we've found our way back inside and it's I'm all not, dark I'm now. I'm not sure this is where we started. Well, let's just There's walk around. And they weren't that before. I think this is a different area. I like the fact that they've left all the lights off now. It's gone dark and it looks like, well, it still kind of looks like you're outside, but we're not. This is definitely not. Yeah, it's a different area, isn't started, it? Yeah. <laughs> so that may be another, um, yeah, it does. That's definitely another restaurant, another restaurant. So this is the old Hickory Steakhouse. The little Easter tunnel all lit up now. It's a lovely. It's like a little grotto. Let's see if we can see any crops. Oh, you can tell them. Oh, no, they're all around the other side I still. I would like to be in those walkers. Everything looks so nice now, it's all lit up. And apparently at 8.30 p.m. every night, they have a light show here where all these lights are dangling. And it's only 10 minutes away, so we're going to stick around and see what it's like. People that are staying here. Well, stood watching. Uh, quite enjoyed that. Actually. It needed a bit. It was a bit sparry. Yeah. And it needed a bit more. Get everybody dancing. Yeah. You know what I mean? There we go. We finally made it to Gaylord Palms Hotel Resort. Something like that. It's called. Um, was it worth it? The wait. It is pretty good. I'll definitely stay for like when it turns night time, and I really liked that show as well. And uh, maybe come and like have a meal here and some drinks. Um, the kids would love the gators and stuff like that. Um, it is good. There's not tons to do, but I did enjoy it and I'm glad we've finally been to have a look around. So Nick's just getting us an Uber or Lyft back to Old Town Kissimmee. What a difference 12 hours makes. So we were here this morning, probably around this time, about 12 hours earlier. And look at the difference now. So with the Ubers dropped us off. Uh, our friends Jade and Alex are here somewhere. So we're probably gonna head to that beef jerky place and get ourselves a beer. Haunted house looks amazing. Still a bit expensive though for $18. The cheapest and the coldest apparently in the whole of Old Town. Even though it's two dollars down there, but this is three dollars for draft at, um, at Yams. And uh, I'm not sure what it is. I think it's Michelob. Let me try. It. Is it cold? Very nice. Right. We're back. What? Nothing. We're back. Nick's just chipping away in the background there. Um, I'm just trying shit. We've just met our friends Jade and Alex and Max had uh, that beer, as you saw. They've just arrived today, they're very tired, so they've gone to check into their uh, hotel now, and um, probably back up at 4am, as you do when you get to Orlando. It's just gonna make a slice of toast for us. Um, so, it's getting very humid out there again today, but apparently after today, it's gonna get cooler by about 10 degrees for a few days, for a week maybe, uh, which I'm kinda, kinda, kinda looking forward to. Um, don't forget my toast as well. Screw your toast, I'm the first. Um, so, we may 
We're going to International Drive tomorrow because we want another day away from the parks because the parks are going to be a ramble until Monday in the Disney parks. But we're going to go to Epcot then as our next Disney park. Ooh. Ooh. So we may go up and explore some of International Drive. That's the plan at the moment. As you know with us, it could change. Um, so. I don't want to go off. Um, honey, honey butter rolls, yes. No. You've got cinnamon cake in there, aren't you? I know, I have. Um, they're, they're Hawaiian rolls, not honey butter. So we hope you've enjoyed everything we've done today. Let us know in the comments below anything that you've done that we've done, anything that you thought was good, uh, etc. Um, I thought that wine bar was good. Yeah, the, the wine, wine bar was good. very surprising, actually. Um, and we'll see you on the next vlog where it may have been to drive, unless we change his mind. Bye. Who knows? Bye.